Hello, this is Professor Tom. I have Asperger's, and today I'd like to talk about Asperger's syndrome and eye contact. One of the things that people who have Asperger's have a problem with is eye contact. Whoa. In fact, I can remember when I was much younger and I couldn't make eye contact. And I attributed it to the idea that I was just shy. Later on, I became a teenager and uh, women scared me. And uh, my social interactions, having uh, Asperger's, were restricted to a few people. I played a lot of chess with my friend George, but I never made eye contact. Then I went away to college. And of course, there's all these women, and you'd like to meet some of the women. And I asked my brother about it, and my brother was rather good with the women, and uh, he says, oh, one of the main things is eye contact. And he explained it to me, and I'm thinking, oh, no. How am I going to deal with this? And then I thought, well, I've got to accustom myself to uh, having eye contact, especially with women. So as I would walk across campus, I would sit there and intentionally look at the eyes of the women that walked by me. Not to be creepy or anything, but just to get to the point where I had the ability to look women in the eyes without flinching and, you know, freaking out. And I do it. And there's a feeling that goes with it. And it was kind of like, maybe not exactly fair, but just a desire to avoid. But I forced myself. And more and more, I got to the point where I could make eye contact. Not that it always felt good to do so, but I could do it. And then later on, I remember when I used to hang around out with a bunch of Japanese in the dorm and they were explaining to me that in their culture eye contact really wasn't something that you wanted to do to somebody. I mean they have all these social rules on what and what you can and can't do and who can do what. But you have to look at the face and so what they would tell me is they would look at the tip of the nose. And that fakes eye contact to most people. Usually when I meet people, I look at the face. I don't make eye contact most of the time. In fact, I've been told by certain women that if I do make eye contact, uh, I have a real intense gaze. Okay, cool. But I can remember at one point I was at this one social gathering and there was one female I was talking to and I never made eye contact with her. I did look at her face when she talked, but at one point she goes, you make so much eye contact and I realized, well, by looking at the face, you're perceiving it as eye contact. So if you have Asperger's, what you want to do is you really, really want to practice eye contact until you can get it down. One of the other things I did when I was younger is I would go in the mirror and I would stare in my own eyes. Yeah, woo. But it's one of those things is you've got to acclimate your brain to dealing with eye contact because socially you have to be able to do it or react in such a way that people think that you do. The best way to do is always look at the face. And if you're a guy, trust me, 
That's all you want to look at when you meet somebody new, is the face. But anyway, this is just another little tip for all of you out there with uh, Asperger's that are having prob problems socially fitting in. Remember, eye contact. Mm.